In the emergency department, the air ambulance has arrived with eight-year-old Mackenzie, who got stuck on a fence and has wounded his chest. Ooh, nasty. How has that happened? Well, Zan, it's all about frogs. Mackenzie just loves them. Me too! Hey, Chris, what's a frog's favourite game? Cricket, cricket. Uh, very good, Zand. But this is about Mackenzie, who was playing with his friend Spike, and they were heading to the frog pond. Sounds riveting. They were climbing over a fence. Uh, Chris, that doesn't look like the kind of fence you want to climb over. No, Zand, it's not. But Mackenzie decided to have a go anyway. He stepped on a wooden block to get over it, but just as he got to the top, the block broke and he got stuck on a spike. Ouch! The team gets straight to work assessing Mackenzie for serious injuries. Consultant Dr Sarah Jones is in charge of the trauma team today. She feels around Mackenzie's internal organs to see if the fence has damaged any of them. How big were these spikes? The middle one was that big. The small, the side ones were like that big. Our main concern is we don't know how deep this wound is and there is always a potential that if the wound is deep, has it gone deeper than muscle? Has it gone into the chest or has it gone into the tummy? To assess whether any damage has been done inside Mackenzie's body, Dr Sarah uses an ultrasound machine. I'm press here. Everything seems OK, but to be sure, a more detailed picture of Mackenzie's insides is needed. In cases like this, an X-ray machine is brought to the patient, as it may be dangerous to move them. The X-ray will help the medical team to find out if the cut has caused any serious injuries. Underneath the skin on your chest, you have 12 pairs of bones making up your rib cage or thoracic cage. They're all protecting your vital internal organs. Normally, they keep you safe, but the spike may have gone through these and done some damage to Mackenzie's lungs, his liver or his diaphragm. We'll catch up with Mackenzie later to find out the results of his x-ray.